video is about my August favorites or something. So I'm actually at my parents' place right now and I don't really have like physical things to show which is actually kind of fitting because I don't think I have very many physical favorite things this month. I haven't been very into the shopping lately. I think that's a good thing. Number one, I've been super into podcasts um, as of I think last month. So obviously I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and I've gathered a small group of my favorites that I would like to share with you. I really like listening to them when I'm biking to work or biking back from work and uh, lately it's gotten a little bit out of control where I just like to have those voices in my head constantly like when I'm making food, when I'm going to the bathroom, when I'm going to sleep, um, when I'm eating which is weird because usually I like watching stuff but now I'm like no I want to keep listening to these people talk but anyways rambling. So some podcasts I've been loving are Not Too Deep with Grace Helbig. I think I've watched almost every or listen to almost every episode each episode is like an interview with a certain person usually youtubers so first i went through and just picked the ones of people that i know and then after i was done with those i started listening to ones of people that i don't know and they were just as silly and interesting and fun so yeah as you can tell from the name not too deep it's very kind of not too deep questions lots of silliness lots of would you rather have penis fingers or vagina ears? Things like that. But I like it. Um, another podcast I really like is Psychobabble. I think that's the full name. With Tyler Oakley and Corey Cool. First when I started listening to it, I was like, what is going on? This is like ADD on crack. Like, the way they jump from topic to topic. And it's, it is Psychobabble. It's very appropriately named. At some point I got into it. It's kind of like... The way they talk is the way you think, not the way you think, but the way I think at least, and maybe you think as well. You just jump from topic to topic and that's kind of how it goes and I like it. It's fun. Another podcast I really like, but now they're on break, I think there's like two seasons. I know I did this, I just don't know how seasons really work for podcasts, it seems every podcast does it differently, but it's, um, good, what's it called? Ear Biscuit with Brett and Link. I didn't know who Brett and Link were, but they were on Grace Helbig's podcast and she was talking about how her podcast is kind of a reaction to theirs or like the antithesis. So where she has silly questions and doesn't go too deep, um, they get deep. And it's really interesting, <laughs> of course, to hear like, I don't know, they just interview people and talk about their life stories and it's interesting to me. But yeah, go explore podcasts in general. There's lots that I just listen to an episode here and there. Um, I've done everything from silly stuff like uh, Snooki's podcast, which isn't, well, yeah, it's very silly, to Perez Hilton's podcast. And then I've done, um, I should really write these things down before you start filming a video. Okay, I'm just going to write it here, but the author of Eat, Pray, Love has a podcast. It's kind of like motivational and creativity, and I got a lot out of that as well. Also, I've just looked for any um, podcast that has featured uh, Sir Patrick Stewart on it, because I love Patrick Stewart. I love Star Trek, so... Yeah. He has such a nice voice. Become a stalker like me and search Sir Patrick Stewart podcast. But yeah, if you know of any great podcasts, um, I'd love to hear about them. Mine have been kind of like YouTube slash celebrity superficially. So anything that's like educational but interesting would be great. I have tried to listen to some educational podcasts and my mind just kind of wanders. I also went down the hole of like these criminal podcasts and that just made me feel freaky and sick. But I couldn't stop like hearing about all these murders. But anyways, podcasts. Another thing I've really been loving this month are audiobooks. Uh, I used to be kind of against audiobooks. I thought if I start listening to audiobooks then I'm going to stop reading books and then, you know, I'm not going to be absorbing vocabulary so much or like, I don't know. I just like the idea of reading actual books. But like I said, because I bike to work and bike home, it's really like that's the best time to listen to books. and music was making me just bike too fast and then I wasn't enjoying my bike ride so books and podcasts I could kind of listen to and relax and bike at a nice pace that makes it enjoyable for 
us all. I don't know who we all are, but us all in here. So many voices in this head. And I like to add more through podcasts and audiobooks. Anyways, my two favorite audiobooks this month, or last month, were Neil Patrick Harris's um, Choose Your Own Autobiography. Yes! Choose Your Own Autobiography and Amy Poehler's Yes Please. Um, they're both hilarious, of course, which is always fun, so I can like laugh to myself like a psycho when I'm biking. But yeah, really highly recommend those. And I think I'm going to stick to audiobooks that are autobiographies read by the authors, because then I feel like you get more than the book kind of offers in a way. Well, I'm sure Neil Patrick Harris's book is really fun to read. It's an actual adventure book where you can choose what you're doing. But yeah, so yeah, going to stick to autobiographies read by the authors because it's just really fun to hear things in their own voice and I don't know. I feel like it compensates the like whole not reading it and you know absorbing the vocabulary and becoming smarter and you know not being so connected to technology it's kind of compensated by being more connected to the actual person who wrote the book which is awesome and if you don't like to read then this is perfect for you um one movie i really loved last month was maze runner 2. i really liked maze runner 1 as well so i was really excited for this one and I don't understand why this movie is a bigger deal. Maybe I'm just not in the circle or the age group where I'm hearing about it a lot, but I feel like I hear about like Hunger Games everywhere, that other dystopian type movie. Wow. I clearly have a peanut brain. Um, but yeah, I feel like I don't hear about Maze Runner as much and it doesn't have that high of an IMDb score or anything, but I really like that movie. In terms of like a teenage action flick, I think it's so engaging, so interesting. The first one I saw without even knowing it was like a dystopian movie. So it was super cool to like, I don't know, picture myself in that situation. And yeah, I recommend those movies for a fun, fast paced, teenage but not too teenage adventure film. I should be a movie reviewer. Last month I got this game called Terraria, which I haven't been playing for the past two weeks, I'll admit, but when we first got it, me and my boyfriend were playing it, like, more than I want to say, and it's a really fun video game. Also should be a video game reviewer, <laughs> clearly. And finally, one thing, or in terms of TV shows, of course, I'm really happy that The Big Bang Theory is back. It's one of my favorite shows. Yes, I think it has gone down a bit from the beginning seasons, but most shows do that. But with that said, Walking Dead this season is also really impressing me, and I've been loving it. The, I don't know, second and third episode were just like heart-pounding, crazy excitement, and then the fourth episode was like a deeper look at one of my favorite characters and like an hour and a half long I think so yeah Walking Dead is really pulling me back in this season not that I was really out of it but I was getting a bit like yeah the season was a bit slow but I think it's good to pace it sort of differently and of course like pretty much everybody else I have been loving Hello by Adele um, I don't really have a personal experience that ties that song or any kind of like connection to it. But when I listen to it, I feel like I do. And I think I listened to it one day like eight times in a row. I just couldn't stop. It's just so heartstring pulling. I love it. So yeah, those are my October favorites. Um, sorry if you were expecting like makeup and clothes or something, but it was more of a media style month. So yeah, I'd love to hear some of your favorites below, especially about those podcast recommendations and, and audiobook recommendations, and even a game recommendation, that you don't really have much of a taste of games that I like just yet, but maybe I'll talk about games another day. Thank you for watching, hit the like button if you liked it, and subscribe to see more or something. Bye! That's creepy as fuck with that. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Waving is an awkward gesture. <laughs>